Welcome back to Top 5 Auto Repairs. How do you know you have a failing TPS sensor? The TPS sensor, also known as throttle position sensor, is an input sensor and its main purpose is to measure the opening of the throttle plates, throttle valve, or throttle blade. Since the TPS is an input sensor, it also works together with other input sensors such as the intake air temperature sensor, mass airflow sensor, and so on. Together, these input sensors will send information to the computer and the computer will use the, these information to determine how much fuel should be sprayed into the engine. The TPS sensor is a potentiometer and it contains a lot of these little contacts and each of these contacts is going to represent of, of the percentage that the, the uh, throttle plate is open. For example, when you step on the gas pedal, this part over here is going to start to sweep and at the throttle angle is opening, again, it's going to tell the computer that the throttle angle is open at 20%, 50%, and 75%. By knowing that the amount of opening of the uh, throttle plate or throttle blade or, or the uh, valve, the, the computer is going to know how much fuel should be injected into the engine. The number one reason why TPS sensor fail is due to worn contact points. If one or more of these contact points become worn, the computer cannot tell the uh, fuel injector to spray simply because it's going to be missing signal due to these warm contact points. So for example, let's just say you start over here at idle and let's just say you step on the gas pedal and this part starts to sweep. When it starts to sweep, for example, you're going 10 miles per hour, 20 miles per hour, 30 miles per hour, 40 miles per hour, and so on. And let's just say it's missing these contact points over here then the computer cannot tell the uh, fuel injector to spray more fuel or cannot get that proper signal. Therefore, you're going to have all sorts of symptoms due to these worn contact points. So when you have a failing TPS due to worn contact points or let's just say you have a connection issue, you're going to notice all sorts of symptoms. For example, you're going to notice the check engine light turning on. You're going to get some sort of TPS codes. You're going to have rough idle because maybe this part here is worn and it cannot really uh, maintain a proper signal going to the computer. You're gonna have the engine surging when you step on the gas pedal. You're gonna have hesitation during acceleration. You're gonna have overall acceleration issue. And if the computer cannot get a reliable signal coming from the TPS sensor, the computer can set the vehicle into limp mode, basically a safety feature that limits the vehicle speed to around second gear, or maybe no faster than 35 to 50 miles per hour. In addition, you may notice the engine may stall due to bad TPS. You may notice the vehicle may have a hard time idling. And you may also notice when you step on the gas pedal, the vehicle may jerk when accelerating. So how do you quickly test for a bad TPS? Testing the TPS is very simple. All you need is a multimeter, like this one over here. Or you can use one like this. And all you have to do is just set it to voltage. So there's three things you need to identify. The first thing you need to do is identify is the power. Usually that's going to be battery voltage. Ground is going to show uh, zero voltage. And the uh, signal wire is going to show some sort of voltage, usually less than five volts. It's going to range between maybe one to about two volts or so. To test the TPS, you want to set to voltage. And you want to have this negative lead connect to the ground of the TPS sensor and this positive lead to the signal wire. And you want to have your engine running at idle. Next thing you want to do is look at the, uh, your multimeter and maybe it might start somewhere on the low voltage side. For example, maybe 1.3 volts. So that's going, to, that's going to be idle voltage. Next thing you want to do is you want to accelerate the vehicle slowly. As you are accelerating, this arm starts to sweep across. And when it starts to sweep across, this voltage should gradually increase. For example, let's just say it starts at 1.3. Let's just say it ends at five volts. And let's just say five volt is wide open throttle. That's when you are going maybe like 80 miles, miles per hour and over, completely wide open throttle. So let's just say again, you start at 1.3, that's idle. And let's just say it starts to sweep, it goes to 1.4. 1.5, it goes up to 2 volts, 2.4, 2.6, etc. As, as you are stepping on the gas pedal, it should, the voltage should gradually increase. But you see a sudden spike in voltage, for example, let's say from 
and suddenly it jumps to four votes and you're missing three votes, well, guess what? The contact point over here is worn and that's how you know the TPS sensor is faulty and should be replaced. So here's a scenario. Let's just say you are going at 10 miles per hour, 20, 30, 40, and these contact points are worn. That means you won't get a proper signal. When you don't get a proper signal, the computer doesn't know how much fuel to spray to the engine. That's when you notice that you're gonna have erratic acceleration and you're gonna notice the vehicle jerking or you're gonna notice a sudden surge in, uh, in the RPM. I hope you found this video useful. As always, thank you for watching and subscribe to Top 5 Auto Repairs.